Hey y'all, welcome back to Irix Guys Adventures channel, youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another unboxing video. Uh, now this video is filmed in 4K Ultra HD, so if you have a 4K computer monitor or TV, crank it up to see all the detail. Now what I have today, and number one, you're probably wondering, Kodak, where have they been? And then you're probably wondering, well, what is this? And, and I was wondering the same thing when I saw it. I mean, as you know, <clears throat> if you're a subscriber of my channel already, and if you're not, be sure to subscribe, but I'm a big GoPro guy. And for me to pick up another product, especially a product that doesn't even do 4K, this will only do 1080p. But it's not what this camera doesn't do that makes it special. It's what it does. Now you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order this online. This is the, um, the SP60 Pix Pro Explorer pack. There's also another pack. It's extreme. It has some more mounts. But check the link within this video's description to find all of that. This is just the unboxing video. So what I'm going to do is is briefly explain what's in here, take it out of the box, and then it's going to get really fun because I'll start using this. And you'll be able to see why someone would buy the PixPro SP3, X, PixPro SP360. And I'll, I'll, I'll provide you a quick summary as to why someone would want it. This does 360 degree video. YouTube now has support for YouTube 360 degree videos. Well, what does that mean? And again, check the link within this video's description. You'll be able to find those videos as I post them. But what it means is that when you're watching a YouTube video, and at the time of posting this, when you're watching a YouTube video and you're using Chrome or an Android device, while that video is playing in the top left, and, and, and that placement could move, but there's a little thing. It's a left, right, up, and down. Just like you may have seen with Street View. So while a video is playing, full motion video, you can pan around within that video and see everything in real time that was occurring when that video was filmed as if you were sitting there. So with, with a standard camera, you know, you're pointing at an object. With this camera, 360 degree. And when you're watching that video on YouTube, on a channel such as Irish Guys Adventure Channel, you get to become more immersed within that environment. And believe me, <clears throat> I'm going to put this in some incredible environments. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get into the box. That's what this video is all about. Kodak PixPro SP360 Action Cam with Explorer Accessories. Again, check the link within this video's description. There's different uh, packages available. I just got the Explorer. So what does this one contain? PixPro SP360 Action Camera Rechargeable Lithium-Ion Battery. Battery charger, AC adapter, USB cable, glass lens cover, protective cover, quick start guide, warranty card, service card, carrying case, cleaning cloth. So quite a bit of stuff. That's just the cam box contents. Then there's accessory box. Standard housing, bar mount, curved adhesive mount, flat adhesive mount, extended arm times two, quick clip, vented helmet strap mount A, vented helmet strap mount B. Square double-sided adhesive, tether times two. So for this to be the less expensive of the, um, of the bundles, you actually get a lot of goodness. So let's get in and see what we've got. And keep in mind, this is my first time hands-on with this camera. Actually, at the time of posting this, this camera has been out for, uh, I think actually a few months, and it was a situation to where some early adopters may have bought it and they're like, <clears throat> well, you know, what's the purpose for this? Well, what prompted me to buy it is my purpose, and obviously that is YouTube and embracing YouTube's latest tools, in this case, 360 degree video. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. And I don't feel that I'm gonna be alone in that journey. I think that a lot of people will also want to uh, publish 360 degree uh, YouTube videos. Now granted, this is still 1080p, and 1080p is still awesome. But this will be cool to play with 
and then maybe later on a 4K version will come around. It's like any other new technology, you know, it's going to it's going to take a while to um, to evolve. But what I think is cool, <clears throat> I tell you, Kodak, and and I haven't uh, I haven't seen a Kodak product in a long time. It was a it used to be a huge company, and then they just kind of they just went dark. I guess you didn't really see much from them, and you can tell they they've really made an effort to uh, to come back and really be dramatic with this packaging. Look at these bright yellow colors. Look at the detail on the box. I mean, this wasn't thrown together. It's like, oh, well, we'll see if we can sell that camera. Ha, ha, ha. No, this was thrown together because they put a lot of pride in it. And that's that's very apparent by the, uh, by the packaging. So let's just take a pick here. What do we want to do first? The camera, the accessories. Let's unbox the camera first. I'm just going to put this off the camera for now and we'll look at this and then we'll look at that. Very nice packaging, did not cut my hands and that's always a plus. Uh, you've got the uh, quick start guide, warranty card, a microfiber cloth. That's nice. A USB charging slash sync cable, I would assume. A charger that the uh, battery charger that the USB cable will stick in and you know what I like about this number one it's small to travel with and number two by being USB rechargeable if you're like me and you use a uh, a solar USB charger for off-the-grid charging I can recharge this just like I do my GoPro camera and some other USB rechargeable accessories nice carrying case right there that's a sign of a camera company that's been in business for a while when they include a case with a camera. I just thought that was a really nice touch. And to, uh, to conserve packaging size, I guess, they, they put the battery inside the case. Uh, the battery that comes with this is a, uh, let's see if it says, 1250 milliamp. Uh, now I do have some other batteries third-party batteries. Check the link within this video's description to find those. Great way to get more batteries for your PixPro. In addition to the USB charger, they also included this, which is a wall charger that has USB. So if you want to charge by way of wall, you just and obviously this right here will come off. I had a zip tie still on it. Um, so you would just simply stick this in to your wall charger and then stick that in the wall. Now since I'm <laughs> I am super stoked about using this, I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery so it'll be good to go. Now my mission is, as with all content is to get these uh, videos out on our Skies Adventure channel as soon as possible. So, unboxing is first. But then the goodness of using it. Now, here's the camera. Oh, and there's a lens cover. And it even says PixPro on it. I mean, they didn't go cheap with this. They, uh, they gave you all, and we haven't even gotten through all the goodness yet. This is just the camera part. So, it's documentation and all of this. I'm just going to put out of our way for now in the microfiber cloth. Um, and we're going to look at this camera here in close detail. And again, this video is filmed in 4K, so if you have a compatible monitor, crank it up and you can see all of the detail here. I mean, this, this thing is... Uh, it's definitely well made from a design perspective. I can tell that already. Now, obviously, I haven't field tested it yet, but 
So see that lens? 360 degree lens. And this does have Wi-Fi. Uh, something I like, you've got that screw type tripod mount right there on the side. And I may be wrong, but it looks like it may have stereo, uh, stereo microphone. And possibly microphone back here as well. It's got a locking battery door, which is nice. Let's see. Yep, just pops up. It's got that tab in there that you can put under your battery to better prevent it from, uh, uh, from getting stuck inside your camera. I like that lock on the door. I mean, that's, that's just a reassuring feature. You got your little display on the top. You've got a mode button, a record button, and uh, you see that right there. Now, obviously, all of this I will be going over exhaustively within future videos. This is just the unboxing video. So check the link within this video's description to find all of those. Um, and I'm going to put the, uh, the lens cover on there. That's nice they included that. A lot of other cameras, you've got to buy these accessories separately. And that's, that's nice they included it. So I put the lens cover on. And now I'm going to put this down in its, uh, in its padded, I must say padded carrying case. Look at that. So just something to better protect your uh, your camera and see how compact that is. That's nice because when you're traveling with a bunch of gear, you don't want to have you don't want to have stuff that's bulky. And then look at that. You got your carabiner right there. They even they were even kind enough to include a carabiner for attaching this to um, to whatever the outside of a backpack. Super nice. So that's everything you get in the camera box. Now we're gonna do the accessory bundle. Again, this is the Explore version that you'll find within the link within this video's description. There's another version that has even more accessories. So you may like it, it's, it's not much more expensive. Look at how well organized that is. So we've got, um, and I don't wanna lose these little parts right here right now. You got adhesive mounts and some and some screws uh, you've got uh, you've got some tethers right there like little lanyard looking things you've got these type mounts to hold these in your hands I mean it's definitely a really high quality uh, plastic or plastic type material I like the build quality of that a lot. Uh, you got the case right here. Now I did want to mention this is not a waterproof case. You can see it's got exposed top and bottom. I think the other package may have a waterproof case. You'll have to check the link within this video's description to see, but good quality case. If you're familiar with other cameras such as GoPro, uh, you'll likely feel right at home using this. And to me, you know what's funny? That little attachment down there looks very, very close to a GoPro. So it almost makes me wonder, could I attach this to my GoPro accessories? We're going we're gonna to test that. It looks very, very similar. Look at that. Uh, now we have... Uh, I think this is one of those helmet, yeah, like a, a helmet mount for like a bicycle or something. See, it's got the the screw type tripod mount, and then you would go this put this through a vented uh, bicycle helmet. And that's actually probably what I'm going to do for some of the initial videos is use a uh, use a bicycle helmet. And then you've got this one that would be a different orientation. See, this one is is flat, and this one is. So, you know, a different perspective. Since I have a bicycle helmet already, those will be very, uh, very useful. Now this right here, 
is a uh, well you, you could probably call it a handlebar I got stuck on that you could probably call it a handlebar mount so you would loosen this up and you could stick that over a handlebar but this could mount over any sort most any sort of tube it's it's kind of soft and rubberized in there to better stick and better prevent uh, damaging whatever type uh, pole that it's that it's positioned around uh, you've got these right here and these are adhesive mounts you can see there's a curved one that you may use for like a motorcycle helmet and then there's a flat one that you may use for a flat surface and, and I really like how this uh, see this little thing right here it just snaps in there you would loosen this up stick your little ball in there and then you can tighten it that's something I'm going to do in another video but it's a really it's a really brilliant yet similar mounting type uh, bracket again if you and I keep I hate to keep using Bro GoPro for comparison but I've been using GoPro for many years now I've been using GoPro since GoPro Hero 2 and you can check out my hundreds of videos and that's that's what I'm mostly most familiar with at this point in time now you've got this mount which looks like it could go over a belt or you know some sort of thin thing and put there so maybe you want to put it on your waist you know put it in your inside of your pants or whatever so that's a cool mount and I, I didn't open this earlier but this was just extra screws and an ex, extra sticky things if you if you attach it to a helmet or flat surface and then want to repurpose it for another helmet or another flat surface so that's that's what you get in the box and again this comes in different varieties this is just the Explorer pack so check the link within this video's description there's one that comes with a lot more mounts but for the uh, for the basic version to my knowledge this is the most basic version there's a lot of goodness I can play with here and and as I mentioned earlier since this has that type mount that just makes me think of GoPro when I see it. Uh, one of my first tests is going to be to uh, to see if that'll fit on the GoPro on my existing GoPro mounts. Because if it does, I may have <laughs> I may not have even needed to buy the one that I bought. I I may could have repurposed some of my uh, some of my GoPro mounts. To use with this instead of uh, instead of having to buy more uh, Pix Pro mounts, but this I, this is cool. I mean, I can't wait to play with it. And and actually, this was something that I didn't even realize existed because I I just don't track other cameras out there. I mean, GoPro's my thing. I didn't realize it existed until I saw that YouTube unveiled 360 degree videos. And then naturally I had to find a camera that would do it. And at the time of posting this, GoPro to my knowledge, well, no, they don't. They do not. GoPro does not have a 360 degree camera at this point in time. So stay tuned. Check out my videos. Tell me what you think. I tell you, I'm stoked to play with some new technology and see what all can be accomplished with a 360 degree camera. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.